Well, for those of you that just tuned in, um, we're about halfway through our show. Uh, this is The Watchful Citizen, brought to you by the Lancaster County Democrats. Uh, you can check us out online at www.lancastercountydemocrats.org. I'm your host, Josh Kramer, and we have with us today uh, Mr. James Terry, uh, who is the Development Director at KZUM Community Radio. And if you've been watching the show, he's also a board member um, at Region 5 Systems. And um, he is a volunteer at the Malone Center. And uh, what other board, you told me one other board that you're on, or is that the only board yeah, you're on? That's the right? only board. That's the only one right now. Right okay. now, yeah. I'm and we're just, we're having a conversation about what it means to uh, volunteer and why Mr. Terry does so many things that he does. Now tell us about your TV show. I tell you, it causes a little bit of stress for a host when he's hosting somebody who has their own TV show. So what well, is it that you I do on I would definitely like you to be on my show so I can <laughs> tell the people and they don't watch this, I mean, that uh, don't watch this link, and uh, I like them to know about your show because this is a really good show. Uh, my show is mostly showing the Lincoln community how to uh, start businesses, just different uh, people, minorities in the community who are friends of mine, and I just like to pat them on the back. And so, and then there's, uh, I, I try to interview some uh, good musicians that I think that uh, that the city should know about because there's a lot of musicians here in Lincoln that want to play at gigs and want to help different nonprofits earn money through uh, fundraisers. So I just, I try to do a show that's going to keep young people interested and keep the other people informed of what's happening, who's, who's doing what, where. Well, James, obviously you haven't worked in radio for so long um, uh, without having an interest in music and, and art. Can you talk a little bit about what kind of music you like or what you play on your radio show? Well, I play, I play a variety because there's so much music coming out. It's just hard for me to just say, well, I'm just going to play jazz when there's good blues and there's good old school and there's good ba uh, band music. It's, so I play... My show is called JT's Coffee Shop, so I play a little jazz, blues, hip hop, and old school. Now how does hip hop factor into the coffee shop kind of image? Well, you know, I kind of like the hip hop that uh, most of the, uh, the rappers that got college education because they give positive raps. I don't like, I never did like the gangster rap where degraded women and talk and cussing all the time because shows you have a low vocabulary if that's all you can do is cuss you know mm -hmm. that's the way i was raised all right well you know i once heard uh, one of our great community activists miss bullock talking about um at, at a meeting of the <laughs> naacp that at one time there was a campaign to bring bet to lincoln and this may be when you were somewhere yes. else i don't um, know actually i was i was there uh <laughs> Membership coordinator. Okay, all right. NAACP at that time. Mrs. And Bullock is such a great person. She just got all kinds of energy. I hope to have that kind of energy all the time, like she has. <laughs> yes, but she talked about you know that there was this campaign to bring in BET, and then after it arrived, and she had the opportunity to see some of what was being shown on there, she was trying to get rid of it. Yes, because they was playing. I mean, they did a whole lot of stuff that it, is degrading to women. I mean, they them being half clothed and the guys talking about things that are not uplifting. So yes, it, at that when BET, when I first was aware of it, they played old classics like, you know, Cad Calloway and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And that's why I wanted it, but they changed. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it became more commercial. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, I listen to a little bit of hip hop myself, and uh, we went to see not too long ago uh, Chuck D from Public Enemy uh, speak at Westland. And my wife, um, she didn't really know much about hip hop. You know, she never really listened to it, and she had that same that same feeling about how it was degrading towards women, and because that was what was selling. Uh, that's what we oftentimes hear on the radio. Um, what is your message for a gangster rapper? clean it up because you're going to have kids one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Uh, I also want to ask you a little bit about national politics. I mean, this is an exciting year, and uh, this is a, this is, the show is sponsored by the Democratic Party, although we have people on here with all different kinds of opinions. So wow. I'm not going to put the heat on you and ask you, you what party you're in. But I do, I do want to know a little bit about what you think of the national political scene. Uh, we're looking at a year where we've already, we're going to have, I think in this next week, um, the first uh, black uh, presidential nominee of the Democratic Party accept the party's nomination. 
we have a shot at having the first African-American president in the United States. Uh, what are your thoughts about Barack Obama or the presidential campaign in general? Well, that's, that's a tough one because, you know, looking at history and stuff, I mean, the, how the Black Panthers was doing great things that was changing the community. They had all these after-school programs. They had breakfasts. They uh, had tutors and stuff. And all the leaders got shot. We're still in a, in a society where we, we done made a lot of progress. We still got a ways to go. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of places, I mean, right here in Lincoln, they still, it's the police officers still profile people. They still pull new black people they see that they don't, haven't seen before. They pull them over just so they can get their license, so they can find out who they are and where they're from. So by, <laughs> I'm scared for them, to be honest. Well, he, you know, he's come under a little bit of scrutiny in the media, the mainstream media, that is, when he uh, kind of called some African-American fathers to task and, and how they're fathering. And you do youth work um, at the Malone Center and uh, work with the Talented 10th program. Uh, do you, is that something that you think that the black community should be offended by, or do you think that's, that's an appropriate thing to bring up in a presidential campaign? Well, yeah, you always should get people, make people aware of different things that's happening or different things that you would like to see happening. You know, I'd like to see Lincoln to become a, a, a multi-ethnic place that everybody has a fair chance, you know, by their abilities, not because they're, you know, they're color skin. I want everybody to get, I want, I would like to see changes in uh, people who have felonies to be able to get jobs so they don't have to be going back and forth to the penitentiary. They, those are wishes. I would like to say I would like somebody to do something about that, but I don't think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, we 